Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Podcast. Uh, we are back, we are back, sorry for the little delay there. Uh, we are back with another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, we're going to break down one of Match Room's, if not Match Room's, brightest young prospects, 7-0, and uh, with 6 knockout, Austin Amo Williams from Houston, Texas. Uh, we're going to get into it. Uh, he's taking a big step up fight on an opponent who's taking on short notice, who you're familiar with. Um, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, quick hits comes at you twice a day, just eight, ten minutes. Like, like I'm saying here, we're just going to keep you up to date on the latest uh, in the boxing world, all the latest news, um, rumors, what have you. Uh, but, and we come at you twice a day, just real quick, keep you totally up to date. This is the only source you will need to be totally up to date. Uh, we were at... Uh, on a little earlier, um, and this is the second show of the day. We'll be back with uh, two shows uh, tomorrow. I think we're going to break down Estrada, the Estrada fight tomorrow. Um, break down both guys. Um, but please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Let's get into the let's get into today's topic, which is Austin Amo Williams. He's taking a big step up. He's fighting uh, Dennis Douglas, uh Mama's boy, um, who's originally from Brooklyn, New York. Now fights out of Las Vegas. Um, and I'm a big fan of Austin Amo Williams. Um, he's one of the best prospects. He was on 3D Boxing's top 25, under 25. He's 24 years old now. Uh, he's 7-0, six knockouts. Um, and he's been knocking out a lot of people early. First round, second round, um, things like that. He's only had seven pro fights. Uh, a lot of those, like I said, have ended early. He had a brief but successful amateur career. He got a late start in boxing. I want to say he only started boxing about five years ago. Um, that's a lot to go in with a guy like Mama's Boy. Um, I don't know. Mama's Boy was in, it was, he's a 168 pounder. He was in tough with David Benavides. He was in a very competitive fight with Benavides, and Benavides got him out in the 10th round. I don't know if Benavides was winning, but it was competitive. Mama's boy had won some rounds. Um, then he was in real tough with Anthony Durrell. Real tough. Um, it, it ended because of an of a accidental foul um, in a fight that a lot of people thought Mama's boy won. Um, <laughs> to the point where PBC kind of scrubbed this thing off the internet. If you can find it, please share it with me. Because I, I wanted to go back and watch it. Um, but it's hard to find. Um, if you guys thought Mama's Boy won, tell me what you thought about the fight. If you can find a link to the fight, please share it below. Uh, but but it's a it's, it's it's a really tough fight. Now I know he just lost to Mike Guy recently, uh, so this is a fight Austin should win on his athletic prowess and his natural ability. He has so much God given talent. This kid, the speed, the power, the reflexes. I mean, he's freakishly strong. He, he's chiseled. He looks exactly and, and has the athleticism to the T of what you'd want in a professional fighter. He's got, he's, he's a terrific body puncher. Um, he's a great kid, a smart kid, high ring IQ. He can basically do it all, but he hasn't had to do it yet. Like I said, he's only seven and all. Most of those fights have ended early. He had a very brief amateur career. He hasn't been boxing that long. This is a massive step up out of nowhere. Um, he really hasn't fought much of anybody. Uh, um, again, and it's not his fault. He's only had seven fights. And, you know, he, he was out a while with the pandemic. Um, and he's a really good-looking prospect. But the thing is, like, is this too much of a step too soon? It shouldn't be. He should
Sorry about that. I'm having problems here. He should be able to handle Mama's Boy. Um, but like just as a point of reference, his best win is over over Isaiah Jones. That's his best win. No disrespect to Isaiah Jones. I'll put some respect on his name. Isaiah Jones beat Dante Stubbs in the bubble. Um, he lost to Destiny Butler. I mean, and then he's lost. Uh, well, he got knocked out in the first round by Wendy Toussaint, Toussaint and and Austin Williams knocked him out in the first round. That's the best one on his resume. Dennis Douglas has been in tough and he's been competitive with world class former world champion fighters. This is a, an extremely difficult fight. Uh, if he wins, he proposes that after this, he should be fighting guys in the top 10 or 15. Eight fights into his career, five years after starting boxing. This is really a remarkable story. And I'm not just flag waving because the kid is from Texas, right? Um, he's that talented. He's that special. But he's been moved along so quickly. I don't know if this is a step too quick. A step too far too quick. Um the longer this goes, I think the longer it favors Doug Lou, who's been in. Like I said, he went 10 rounds with, uh, he went into the 10th round with Benavides of, of a scheduled 10 rounder, a fight that he was doing well in. Um, this is not going to be easy. He went the distance, you know, he went to the cards with Durrell against not because of the headbutt in a fight. Most people thought Mama's Boy was winning. If Ammo wins this fight, he's ready. If, if Ammo wins this fight and he knocks him out, it's time to stop one more win. He's in the title picture. Either at 160, 168, he said he can make 54, and he heard that he can make 54. We're going to see. But this is a huge fight for him. This is a huge step up. This is a huge test for Austin Alma Williams. Um, he has not been in with anyone like this. Um, you know, he, he was kind of moved along the pace with white chocolate. Um, and, and, you know, same about the same weight class, about the same size. Uh, about the same age, I, I think Amazon, but they were moved kind of along. They fought on the same card a lot. Um, but this is a major step up. This puts him in the picture should he win this fight. This is a, a, a big win. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's a step too too soon, too quick? Do you think Amo blows him out? Am I overhyping Mama's Boy? Is he not that good? Does he just have a catchy nickname? Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. But I, this is, if he wins this, it's impressive, and, and he needs to be moved along quickly because he's on the right path. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, two episodes a day, just to keep you up with the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Um, it is still March 8th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.